hope you had an absolutely wonderful weekend. I'm gonna tell you that on Saturday, I literally sat on the couch and watched cartoons for hours. And it was the most beautiful gift that I could have given to myself. So I want to just remind you that self-care, doing nothing, it is important and it can really recharge our soul. So just allow yourself to take time for yourself. It is so important and it truly makes a difference. Spending a few hours recharging will give you so much more energy for you to do so many other things and to really set yourself up for success. So today we're gonna to be doing a weekly card reading for for Monday, April 5th through Sunday, April 11th. For this week's reading, we're gonna be using the Voice of Knowledge cards by Don Miguel. And I just feel like this will be a really fun way for us to have a lot of reminders of things that we can focus on and things that we can kind of prioritize and maybe even see if there's anything that we could still work on and heal and accept and embrace. So let's see what the cards have to say for this week. Before Monday, we receive the card, you are an angel and your life is your message. You can be a messenger of lies, fear, and destruction, or a messenger of truth, love, and creation, but you cannot deliver lies and truth at the same time. I feel like on Monday, we're being asked to look at the words that we're using, the thoughts that we're having, what we are sharing with others and become clear on what it is that we are delivering and what it is that we are speaking and what messages we are sharing because those messages is what is creating your life, right? As he said, your life is your message, okay? Don Miguel also has a book called The Four Agreements in which your word should be impeccable. And I feel like this card is really aligning with that message of the words we're using, what we are saying, what we are sharing, how we are communicating is literally fabricating our life. And you cannot deliver lies and truths. So on Monday, really start to get clear about what it is that you are saying and also think about what it is that you're looking to create and how the words you are using now based on your current reality are not aligned with that bigger message and start to see how you can change that phrasing in order to make it be aligned and for you to invite what it is that you're asking for in. But ultimately, man, being impeccable with your word, that is it. Woo, that is a powerful card. For Tuesday, we received our true nature is to play and explore, to live in the moment, to enjoy life. As little children, we are completely authentic. Our actions are guided by our instinct and emotions. We listen to the silent voice of our integrity. Nobody teaches us to be that way, we are born that way. On Tuesday, it's gonna be a really good time for you to continue to connect into that voice inside of yourself and for you to hear and learn your inner self and what it sounds like. And I'm gonna tell you sometimes it's very quiet and that's why meditating and finding stillness and getting quiet allows us to communicate and hear ourselves better and why it is so important. So on Tuesday, I feel like this card is encouraging us to Remember our childlike state, have fun, be adventurous, be a goofball, do lighthearted things, do activities that make you smile and that are joyous and fun. And the more you can bring this type of energy into your life, the more life is going to change and you're gonna feel a lot more vibrant. Allow yourself to honor your actual self, pay attention to your emotions, pay attention to your initial instincts with things, and really start to live a life that feels good and true for you. For Wednesday, we received, I enjoy the presence of myself. I find myself smiling and having fun even when I am just by myself. The more I enjoy myself, the more I enjoy my life, and the more I enjoy the presence of everyone around me. On Wednesday, we are being reminded to work towards loving all aspects of ourselves, the good, the bad, the ugly, the things we're not proud of, the things we're ashamed of, remembering that we are human and we have human instincts and we will not be perfect, okay? Perfection is not real. I've had to come to terms with that on my own. It's not something that we actually think we can achieve. We're going to be human. And so on Wednesday, the more you can start to enjoy time on your own, being with your own company, the more you're going to enjoy your relationships. And you're also going to have 
better relationships in a sense. Because like I've said before on this channel, like you're not looking for external validation anymore. Instead, you're really just enjoying the company of someone else. And so the other thing I want to say to you is at one point in my time, I had come out of a crazy abusive relationship and I realized that I had lost all my friends because of this relationship. And I had to learn how to enjoy being alone again. And the loneliness, it was hard at first, for sure, especially being out of this relationship that was on and off for two years. Granted, may not seem like a lot of time, kind of is a lot of time, but anyway, the thing I realized most out of coming out of this abusive relationship where I didn't know who I was anymore, I didn't have friends anymore, I learned that I would never be alone because I would always have myself. And that was one of the most life-changing lessons that I could have learned because it really changed loneliness. It really changed my perception of anytime I saw somebody eating at a restaurant by themselves. I also would take myself to the movie and it was the most liberating free experience I've ever had. Le years later, I ended up taking myself to a concert literally all by myself. The best concert experience I might have ever had. Okay. So Really allow yourself to find this time, find this quiet time to be alone, connect in with yourself, get to know yourself, have fun with yourself, love yourself, enjoy your time with yourself. And then all the other relationships change. For Thursday, we received the way to transform what you believe about yourself is to unlearn what you have learned. When you unlearn, your faith returns to you, your personal power increases, and you can invest your faith in new beliefs. Another really, really powerful card. So with Thursday, we're being asked to look at the different stories that we've been told by other people. So look at the beliefs that we've created that were not based on what we actually believe, that are based on society, that are based on our family, that are based on our friends and our past relationships, the stuff that's not true, right? Somebody external is giving you an opinion based off of what they see, but they don't know everything about you. They never will. Even your most closest friend, even your family member, the only person who knows everything about you is you. So on Thursday, it's time to look at these old stories. Look at what you keep telling yourself. Look at what you are believing and allow yourself to transform the story where it feels good. If you recognize that that story is no longer true or you recognize in certain ways that it serves you and you could change your perspective on it, then that's what's going to help you. For Friday, we received Don't Believe Yourself. Don't believe the storyteller, the voice of knowledge in your head, especially when the voice is going against you. Listen to yourself, listen to your story, but don't believe it because the story you are writing is mostly fiction. It isn't real. So I feel like this card kind of changes everything that I just said on Thursday, okay? With this card, I feel like it's really about us filtering through our thoughts, filtering through what is playing in our mind, what it is that we're telling ourselves, and really that sentence about, especially when the voice is going against you, when you're having thoughts that are negative, when you're having thoughts that are self-doubting and putting you down, like that's not the time to listen to yourself. That's the time for you to recognize that you're caught up in a negative thought pattern and for you to see it and then choose to let go of that thought and allow a different thought to come in. Switching our attention, switching our focus. What I want you to know is that you are not your thoughts and not everything that you're telling yourself is true. And that's what this card is reminding us about, right? Like don't believe everything, you're creating a story. Also half the time when we're thinking about the future, we have assumptions and when we're living in the past, we're just dragging ourselves through the mud in a way of which how we are remembering something and how we're remembering it may not even be completely correct. So this idea that it's mostly fiction is totally valid because how can you remember everything that actually happened? You're just remembering it from your one viewpoint. And also you can't figure out what's gonna happen in the future. Like all you know is what's happening right now. And so filtering through your thoughts and recognizing the stories that you are creating is really going to help you change how you feel every single day. For Saturday, we received, I experience love by jumping into the ocean of love. Everything I do is a ritual of love. 
walking, talking, working, playing, just to be alive makes me intensely happy because I am no longer thinking, I am feeling. The other day I had this thought of imagine living your life every day in actual gratitude, being super grateful for the food that you're eating, the air that you're breathing, the fact that you're alive, the fact that your heart is beating, that you have a roof over your head, that you have fresh water to drink. Imagine what would happen if you lived every single moment in absolute gratitude. And I feel like that's what this card is saying to us on Saturday. Everything you do is a ritual of love. Imagine anytime you're talking with somebody or you're walking or you're working or you're playing, it's just you expressing love. Like that really is what it is in a sense. That's really what we're here to do. That's really what life is about. So this card is reminding us about feeling. On Saturday, recognize when you're feeling fear, anger, sadness, jealousy, grief, those lower vibration types of feelings, and then recognize when you're feeling joyful and playful and happy and adventurous and that type of higher vibration feelings. Recognize them both and then ask yourself, how is it that you want to go about today? How is it that you want to experience today? And it may be that you start your morning off and it's not really going that well. You had a crazy dream, something happened, and you're kind of feeling a little bit low vibe, but you have the power at any point in time to switch it and to get into a higher vibe state and to embrace more joy and more love and get into that gratitude and to just feel blessed and grateful and thankful. So on Saturday, I just want to challenge you to Live from a place of love as much as possible. For Sunday, we received faith is the force that gives life to every word, to every belief that we store in our mind. If we agree with the concept, our faith is there and we keep it in our memory. Faith is the mortar that holds our beliefs together and gives sense and direction to the entire dream. This card is reminding us that it's really about our faith. It's really about what we are believing in, and that's what I feel like faith is. Faith is that knowing that something's going to happen, right? Like we have faith in it, we're hopeful. On Sunday, it's really about having faith in yourself, having faith in your ability to change anything that you want, having faith that you can create your dreams, having faith that your life can be as magnificent as you hope that it will be, and that you can create it. And having the faith to believe and your beliefs is gonna help you then get to that dream. And so for Sunday, I really want to remind you that even if reality right now is showing you something different, hold on to the faith, keep that belief, and know that your end goal is there and it's closer than you think and you can achieve it. And just keep on making those itty bitty baby steps that'll help you get closer to that end goal because I'm telling you like, you got it. You really, really got this. I feel like for this week, it's really gonna be a good week for us to do a mindset check, do a stories check, do a beliefs check, Really figure out what it is that you are putting out to the world, how impeccable you are being with your word, and how often you are allowing yourself to live authentically and to be playful and have fun and tap into that energy. I feel like we're just really being reminded that the life we're creating is our own and that we have so much power. The universe is here to support your dreams all the time. It's working for you. The question becomes, how can you better work with it? How can you enter into a place of flow? How can you embrace what is being sent your way? And how can you make room for what it is that you're asking for? A lot of times we are blocking ourselves and we're getting into our own way. And I feel like this week we're really being encouraged to let things go to get out of our own way. You deserve it. You deserve what it is that you're asking for and the universe is more than abundant. I feel like this week is gonna be a really good week. These cards are legit awesome. So if you're feeling the same way too, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to hit subscribe to join our community as I do bring you weekly Oracle card readings every single Monday. And also, if you didn't know, I do personal card readings. So if you'd like a personal card reading, you can book a session on my website if you go to crystalray.com. Another thing that I'm not quite sure if you know about, but I do offer Reiki sessions virtually. So it's done via Zoom. You can book a session on my website as well. I offer a 30 minute session and a 60 minute session. And if you've never experienced Reiki before, it is absolutely amazing. If you 
are looking to feel calmer, if you're looking to balance your energy, if you're looking to let things go energetically and just feel new, it's so incredible. So definitely check out my website and I'll be back on Wednesday for an at-home workout with you guys. Feel free to check out some of the workouts that I've already posted, but I wanna let you know that I really appreciate you being here. I appreciate you taking the time and spending it with me on my channel and hearing this week's card reading. I truly hope that it helps you and I will see you next time. Bye.